Welcome to Bunny's World. We are making tuna casserole. Let me get the noodles on. That's what's going to take the longest. That's all I'm doing. So hungry. Oh, that's what it's going to take the longest. Yeah, that's what it's going to take the longest. Yeah, that's what it's going to take the because I could not move. I had a spastic colon attack. And it was not pleasant. Which felt kind of the light went out. So we'll turn this one on. I wish that could sit up here, but I don't think it can. Yes, it can. As long as I don't touch you, I guess. Um, I'm going to saute these in the microwave, my vegetables, um, which includes pepper, onion, and celery. Don't breathe on it. Don't breathe on it. Don't breathe on it. Mm, come on. Come out of there. Thank you. But it's more sweating them than it is sautéing them because they don't take on any color. Oh, I need some garlic, too. I mean, this is my food. I'm like Rachel Ray. Gotta have garlic. Exactly even cuts, but anyway, what I want to do is make nice small cuts. Nice small cuts. Because otherwise, it will take three years for um, celery to soften. So try to cut it as small as you can. By the way, this combination of vegetables, of aromatics, is your poa plus one. Um, would be celery, onions, yeah, celery, onions, peppers. So it's not, anyway. It's not plus one. I don't know what I was thinking of. Okay, let's go for that. Ooh. I'm going to get the garlic out of the uh, fridge because I don't want to see you chop it. Yes, I should be using my whole garlic, but I am. Um, was watching Rescue Man 1-1. One little girl found a washing machine. And it was obviously an older washing machine 
although probably not older at the time, um, because it um, you could open it and the agitator would um, oh, pretty. keep going, which today that doesn't happen. As a matter of fact, once the agitator starts, you can't even open most, whoops, most of them today. I won't even allow you to open them. Ugh. There we go. I'm gonna put these in the microwave. Four minutes. Oh, I forgot my garlic. Forgot. I forgot my garlic. Okay. Yeah, this is why I had to get more because I didn't have much. Because I actually do use it. That should be about a bowl. Because I don't use it. Much. So I generally use my garlic, like the, the fresh stuff that's over there, um, in crock pot with meat and stuff. This away, and this away. What herbs should I put? This is to put in there when it comes out. I'm going to open this and this in a bigger bowl. Oh, no. I need a bigger bowl. Alright, I'm going to have to take and put you over here for a moment. This bowl will work. I will bring you back over here. Okay, good. <gasps> Fudge! Hold on. There we go. Cream and celery soup, by the way. So it enhance the celery flavor. Um, not something I would eat by itself, but definitely something that um, I use in cooking, just like cream of chicken. If I was making a chicken casserole, I would use cream of chicken. But in tuna, you can use cream of onion, cream of mushroom, cream of celery. I mean, you can use any of those in a chicken, too. But why not use cream of chicken if you're making chicken, right? I'm going to... Um, oh, my goodness gracious. Um... Put the fresh herbs right in there. Okay. 
time is so tiny. Parsley, I'll just tear. Just take some off the stems and tear it. Oops, that's a stem. That sounds like I might have some boil overage. You can use the parsley stems in soup. Yes. Okay, just a little bit of basil. Here it is. This will be done soon, I think, because they're pretty small. Hot. Okay, let's pour this hot, hot, hot thing. So let's just mix that in, mix in the herbs, and we have our mixture ready to go. As soon as the pasta is done, our mixture is done. Hot! Oh! Well, anyway, this is our mixture. Tuna soup, the um, cream of celery soup, fresh herbs. I'm going to add, the only other thing I'm going to add to this, since it's fish, is a little bit of tarragon. Just kind of fold that in. Um, onion, celery, and pepper. There it is. I will mix it in with the uh, pasta, and we will have a tuna casserole. It's getting close. I need to get the strainer. Do do do. Strainer video. Come on. Almost. Very close. Very close. Maybe two more minutes. Then I have to get to editing. Alright guys, um, let's see if we can figure out what games are on here. It looks like there's blackjack, darts, uh, roulette. Definitely gonna have to check this out. It 
it's rated T for teen because it's simulated gambling. So, whatever works, I guess. Should be one more minute, guys. And I can go at it and get these videos up. <laughs> show you a little trick when this comes out. Um, because I'm not baking it in the oven, but I want cheese on top, I put the cheese on top and then cover it. And it'll melt in a minute. There we go. Two minutes. Once I get all the mixture folded in, put a little cheese on top, cover it over with a piece of aluminum foil right here. I got pop up aluminum foil right here, and let it sit for a minute. Won't take long. Okay. cheese. I know I need to watch my cholesterol, but I like a nice covering of cheese. And we put that over it. Actually, that. There. Put that over it for about a minute, not even, and it will melt. Show it to you. Oh, I forgot that wasn't attached. Here it is. You could just as easily do it in the oven, but there. Yeah. So, God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow. Um. Oh, I have not stopped today. So. I'm going to sit and edit. Please subscribe to both channels. I'm trying to get to 500 on the other channel and 200 on this channel by Memorial Day. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.